Hey YouTube, welcome to another edition of Real Men Get It Done. On today's, actually tonight's episode, I am doing some late night cleaning and specifically uh, testing out a brand new um, carpet cleaner that we got for our home. I'll show you in a minute, but we have some rugs and some furniture that is filthy just with having kids and a dog. So we were tired of just going out and renting uh, the carpet cleaner, so we went out and invested and purchased our own. So we're gonna stack it up and see how it does tonight with cleaning some rugs and cleaning some of our upholstered furniture uh, just to give you a before and after. So this should be a fun clean with me video and also to give you a review on the carpet cleaner that we got. Now, there are a lot of them that are out there on the market, so we were looking for an affordable one, but was not gonna break the bank. So we'll see how this one stacks up. Thanks for tuning in. Real men get it done. Check it out. Let's see how this cleaner stacks up. Okay, so we went with the Pro Heat Pet Cleaner and it has triple action of six rows. It has heavy traffic, normal traffic for the flooring. And then it also has a pet stain tool uh, for heavy traffic areas and also another additional smaller tool on the back, uh, which I assume that's for, you know, upholstery and other things. So two cleaning tools and it's heated, which is supposed to work better when it's actually has heat applied to it. So this system normally ran, I believe for a little bit over $160. I was able to catch it on the Walmart app as a rollback and they honored the price at Walmart. So I believe it was 143 when I added the warranty and on these machines, my mom has had them in the past. We've had them growing up. You definitely want to get the warranty warranty on it because they do break. Uh, so got the $20 warranty on there for two years. I think all together with taxes, it came up to like 180 all together, which is pretty good because we were looking in the range of uh, around $200 for one. They can range anywhere from $100 for a really cheap basic one all the way up to five, six, seven hundred. So this was a good price point for us. So showing you guys a couple of our areas that need some attention to. This area normally holds our dining room table uh, and with the upholstered chairs. So obviously you can see dealing with the kiddos and even now, especially with them being home with Corona, the coronavirus taking over the nation. Uh, this is their homework area. So they have even more recently got even more stains and things on these upholstered seat. And this has become our uh, pee and poop area for our dog, unfortunately. So we have a puppy that's we've had her for about a year, still trying to house train her and everything. So she's ending up using the restroom here. As you can see, those are actually pee stains from her that we tried to clean by hand over the course of this year, but it still does not work very well. Uh, so I'm glad that we have this to hopefully see if it will get a good deep clean and get uh, her scent out this rug so she stops uh, peeing on it. Our living room area, and I was able to do our couch with uh, the, the cleaner a few days ago. I didn't get that on tape. I was just trying to get it done, but it came out very well. We've had this couch about a year, so we were able to actually first go and remove all the cushions and wash them in the washer and dryer. And then we did the rest of the ottoman underneath all on the outside. And then last but not least, our kitchen area. So this is a pretty new set that we've had in the past maybe year. And as you can see, just with having family and functions and events, you can see how grimy the chairs have gotten. And especially uh, the kind of sofa piece of the, the table has gotten its share of abuse. This, and then this rug, um, th this was one that I was almost gonna throw out. So we'll see how it, how, it, how it does. It's one of the oldest ones that we've had and we just moved it here to the kitchen because we knew food and things would be dropped in it from our kids and having family functions and people using it. So you can see it, it's pretty filthy. Uh, but I'm hopeful that the sink cleaner will get most of this grit and grime out. The last thing that I'll mention is that, of course, I've already vacuumed and 
and use the, the vacuum to get any dust and any food particles off of everything. Um, so that's one step in this process. The other step is actually having a good cleaning solution. I like working with um, home remedy do-it-yourself products because they're a little safer and it helps you to save money. And so I do have the professional advanced Bissell that came with the actual um, cleaner. But in here, this is the old Bissell bottle that I've used, which actually has a DIY cleaning solution of uh, white vinegar, uh, a, a Tide Pod uh, pack is in here. Um, also, I believe, what else did I put in here? Vinegar, Tide Pod, um, I forgot what else, but that is the, 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 the basis of the, the actual solution. Search online, there are a lot of great remedies that are out there for carpet cleaners, but I will tell you as a testament, vinegar, white vinegar, my mom was using it when I was a kid. Uh, it works wonders. It does a lot of great good in terms of cleaning and is as a natural product, but that alone with the Tide Pod works very well. Oh, I don't remember, it's, it's water, Tide Pod, uh, white vinegar, um, 409 degreaser is mixed into there. And I believe maybe a little bit of baking soda that I put in there. So all good, great natural kind of cleaner and remedies, but that's what's in here, which I put in a spray bottle because I'm gonna pre-treat some of the fabric areas uh, on the um, upholstered materials. And then um, we'll use this solution inside of the cleaner as well to actually hit all the areas.
All right, everything is done. Everything's a little wet. And that's why I definitely did it for a late night clean. Everybody is asleep. It is two o'clock in the morning, uh, but everybody is knocked out asleep. Um, but I knew it would be loud. It would disrupt our day if I tried to do it during the day. Just too much is going on. And um, it, it gives opportunity for everything to kind of dry while we don't have to use it. So I am very impressed already. I will show a after again once things dry a little bit by morning. But just seeing how dirty the reservoir kept being as I refilled it, um, I already can tell like this carpet is much lighter. Uh, the 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 um, whatever this thing is called, the couch for the kitchen table uh, looks really good. And then I'll highlight the other ears that we hit. This one looks pretty good. These again, not dry, but I thought they looked very good thus far. And then our rug looks way better. Um, some of the actual urine stains are stained in there, but it definitely lightens them up. So I will highlight that tomorrow and show you in daylight of the before and after of everything once it's dry a little bit.